In order to solve this question, we're going to be using the destructive interference formula for a single slit diffraction, and that is a times sine theta is equal to m times lambda. Now the value m is simply an integer value. Now before we begin solving, let's take a look at the diffraction grading or the interference pattern that would form on a screen when we're dealing with a single slit. So this is what it looks like right here. Now we were told in the question that the width, the central maximum, is two millimeters. So this is telling me where I've shaded that this whole entire width right here is two millimeters. Well, if I divide that by two, I get one millimeter. That tells me the width of only half. And why is that useful? Well, from m equals zero to m equals one, I already have my distance. Now that'll come in handy later on. So once again, we know that the distance between the two dark fringes is much smaller than the distance from the slit to the screen. So Y is much smaller than L. Therefore, we can say that sine theta is approximately equal to tangent theta. And when we go ahead and make our substitution over here, we know that tangent theta is simply Y sub M divided by L. And when we set that equal to M lambda, we'll rearrange and solve for the wavelength here and we'll go ahead and plug in our variables we were told that the aperture or the slit has a width of 0 0.600 millimeters or 0 0.600 times 10 to the minus third meters and the distance from the central maximum all the way to the first dark fringe is one millimeter so that's why I went over that in the beginning right here so this is one times 10 to the minus three meters now the distance of the screen is 1.3 zero meters and our integer is m is equal to one this will give us a wavelength of 462 nanometers